or Christ consciousness within. Spoken of in this way, he must increase. But I, I, the ego, must decrease. He that cometh from above is above all. Naturally, that which came from God, our spiritual consciousness is far above ego consciousness, which is simply the subject of worldly consciousness, our thoughts, emotions, and actions here on earth. And so it says, he that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthy. He that cometh from heaven is above all. And so the ego is of worldly consciousness, earthy consciousness. And as that decreases, as God or spiritual consciousness is always with us, always was, always will be, then naturally he flows without obstruction when we eliminate the greatest enemy, ego. When the ego is fully deflated, then God's light and intelligence therein can be fully comprehended. But only then, the ego must be eliminated. Otherwise, why did Jesus say, here comes Nathaniel, who is without guile? Then he said, because of that, Nathaniel, you shall see the spiritual light from heaven descending and the light going back to heaven. That is, he shall have the spiritual consciousness because he has eliminated the ego within. That is why ego is God's number one enemy. It prevents us from knowing, realizing our oneness with him. Now, going on just a bit, for a moment or two, and then we'll be through. With the aid of ordinary evolution, it's going to take a million years to get rid of this ego. Just think, a million years, a million years of ordinary solar evolution to get rid of ego consciousness and allow the realization of cosmic consciousness. It'll take a million years to work out, to work out karma. Latent karma has been laid up for ages, for incarnation. We have latent karma laid up, cause and effect operating, and the subject of that cause and effect is ego. How are we going to eliminate it? Many lives we have brought it over. Those causes are there. And they have to be eliminated because there can be no realization of our oneness with God as long as the ego is there. As long as there is any latent karma within us, there'll be ego. So you can see the yogis found out and reasoned and understood that to eliminate the ego, they've got to eliminate latent karma. How to do it? It's going to take a million years of ordinary solar evolution to do this. But this thing, they realized that by speeding up evolution, they could eliminate the karma in a much shorter time. By speeding up evolution and germinating those seeds of latent karma in a shorter time, without waiting for natural evolution. And so, by following the techniques of self-realization, especially Kriya, Kriya Yoga, you can do just that. You can speed up your evolution so that these latent seeds of karma, which are going to keep you in ego consciousness, will germinate. Then you can burn them up by the fire, the spiritual fire within. Remember that as long as there is any latent karma within you, you are still going to be subject to ego. You still will be under the rule of ego consciousness. So it behooves us, without question of a doubt, to follow those methods and means whereby we can burn up, eliminate latent karma within us, cause and effect. It's bound to work in ego consciousness, in outward consciousness. It is that cause and effect that ties us to the body through ego. Now we have the key in these words, to him that overcometh will I grant to sit on my throne, as Jesus said. To him who overcometh what? Who overcometh the ego within? Who speeds up his evolution, germinating those latent seeds, and then burns them up in concentration? 
If we will do that, we can in a very short time, compared to a million years, eliminate the ego within. It is absolutely scientific. Now, all those matters that are approached in a scientific way, like in this country, we approach production in a scientific way. Look at the results we get. There is no country that can touch America because she has gone at it in a scientific way. Look in medicine. Look at the teams of men working in laboratories and how efficient they are and what results they get. Why? Because it's scientific. They've approached it in a scientific way. And also they have clinical teams working to combat pathology of the human race. Look at the wonderful results. Why? Because they went at it in a scientific way. Why not with religion? If we go at these other things, approach them in a scientific way, why not religion? Why not religion? It surely can be done. And religion can be placed on a scientific basis with just as satisfying results as you do any other thing in a scientific basis. Because the science of knowing God is the greatest science and the method of overcoming ego consciousness is a part of that science of knowing God. So, it can be done in an exact, in a scientific way. Now, we come to the point how to...